What's up, my grub lovers? Who ready to get their grub on? You know that I am. It's your boy, Mr. Grub, back again with another video for you guys. And today, I am headed to a new spot called JJ Plums Cafe. Uh, they're located on US 1 and Fort Pierce, so you know I'm going to drop that address for you guys. Um, from what I hear, they sell all kinds of foods, man. Uh, so I'm going to check them out, see if I can find me something that I would actually enjoy. Uh, but it gets me how I go to different places, man, and they sell so many different types of food that I see every day. Uh, same type of food, but they just don't get the recognition for it. So, uh, you know, I did my research. I followed my steps. Hopefully you guys followed the steps too. You checked out my last video. Uh, I'll drop that link for you guys as well. Check it out. Uh, so I followed those steps and it led me here, man. So I'm going to head over there now and check them out, guys. I'll see you guys in a bit. It's your boy. Mr. Grub. Guys, so I'm here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and check them out, see what the menu looks like, uh, see what might uh, look good to me, man, and go ahead and pick something and let you guys check it out. So let's head on in there. So I'm back. Um, I went ahead and, you know, asked for the uh, bacon cheeseburger uh, with fries, like the combo and the water. And it came up to eight bucks. So I was already, I, I don't know, let me tell you. So cafes and diners, I've always had good experiences with them because for one, uh, most of the time, everyone there is, is family or they built the family type of relationship. I've noticed most businesses like that that build those type of relationships are very successful. And reason being is because they have an, they build an understanding, uh, they build a team chemistry that works. So, like I told you guys, you know, uh, before, you always have to, you just, you look at the reviews, you look at how they explain, you look at what they actually have to offer, and then you, you look at, uh, you know what people are actually saying in detail about them you know what i mean and then of course you, you go for yourself so um i got here you know those people in their older crowd uh, and i've noticed that too a lot more older people are into the cafe or the diner type and i think it's because uh you know the newer generation just goes with what they see on tv like i told you guys some of the fast food places but if you actually look at the the star ratings on a lot of fast food places uh, the McDonald's Burger King place like that you won't see five stars you won't see four stars you'd be lucky to see three stars and it's not just because they have a lot of ratings it's because as many locations as they have quality always always beats quantity so you can have a million locations but if your quality doesn't change if your quality doesn't improve if your quality doesn't get better it, nothing's gonna happen so true enough these places are huge they make a lot of money so forth and so on but uh, it lets you know people are settling for a lot of these places just because they're commercialized you know just because it shows on TV this is a good place to go or it's a safe place to go whatever the case may be so uh, you know but the cafes like I said the reason why they have more of an older crowd is because uh, the older generation were accustomed to going to cafes and diners to eat and they realized where good food was and they stuck with it they remained loyal all through these years so whenever I see that um, it gives me more of a inspiration to try the food and that's why I tell you guys it's not just about picking something because you're hungry it's actually about really finding out uh, where great food comes from where it, where it originates from and if this is the place that you want to be. So I came here to JJ Plum's Cafe in Fort Pierce. Uh, looking through the menu, they serve everything. Shrimp, chicken, a tuna. Uh, so, and, and that's the thing with diners, man. You're going to find everything there because, you know, back in the day, that was all we had, you know, diners. And those diners pretty much paved the way for the other restaurants that came out as specialty restaurants. Those that only serve shrimp or only serve chicken or only serve burgers they've had to branch off from the diner field so um i decided to get the the bacon cheeseburger um you know with everything and i'm going to show you guys what it looks like before we dive in on it check it out hey. 
So I like how they set it up. You know, they asked me what I want. I told them what I wanted on it, but they still gave me the option to put it on myself. I always told you guys, the more options that you get, the better it is, right? So I got my fries. You know, I always got to get my fries. They got my ketchup on the side. Um, so I don't have to put it all over. This, this is different with diners, not no ketchup packs and all that, but you get to put it on the side, right? And let me tell you what else is different is when you go to places like McDonald's or whatever, they already have a salt on it. Some, sometimes it's too salty, whatever. You get salt packs. Just saying, like you have to appreciate some of the finer things that you get at diners. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my burger up and then I'm gonna dive in on it. This looks really good. I told him, give me the works, man. I wanted everything. Give me the works. Don't hold back, right? So, and it's super hot. So, it's, it's hard for me to really hold it like that because it's really hot. But look how big this burger is, man. Damn! And like I said, with this and the fries and the, and the drink, eight bucks? Come on, man. Like, you go to McDonald's right now, you'll pay more, more than eight dollars for a cheeseburger meal or something. It's crazy. So, and then you get all your bacon when you go to those places. You don't have all the bacon, you know what I'm saying? Like I told you, Five Guys is my spot, right? But even as a commercialized place that's very expensive, you still didn't have as much bacon as you have on this one that I'm getting from this diner. So, shout out to them, you know what I mean? Let me go ahead and dig in on this and let you guys know how it is. Premium, okay? That's a premium burger. So I asked them too, you know, um, this is different, of course, if you're in there or if you eat inside or not, no different. And it seems that everyone who's there is familiar with these people, like they know them, you know? So, it's easier to build a relationship through great food. The best relationships are built through great food. Whenever you go meet somebody, oh, let's sit down for coffee. Oh, let's go grab a bite to eat. Food is the mediator between any type of conversation. So, to have great food, it definitely helps end a conversation on a good note. So. Shout out to JJ Plum's Cafe. The burger is delicious. The veggies are fresh. The fries are fresh. And the price is reasonable. So you guys definitely get a 10 from me. I told you guys yesterday, I do my research for a reason. And I don't tell you guys just to tell you. Like I want you to try these places out if you're in your area. And I want you to check out diners in your area. Let me know. Comment below if you have places in your area you haven't been to but you always were curious about let me know man i'll do the research to help you out i'll even try it out for you i'm telling you i, I have amazing luck when it comes down to this okay this burger is delicious they asked me how i wanted it told them well done that's the other thing you don't get at fast food fast food they don't ask you how you want it you get what you get come here you get the diners a mix of fast food and that, that old casual restaurant feel, it's perfect. You hear me? Perfect. This burger is delicious. It's juicy. The lettuce, tomatoes, the onions is fresh. I'm in awe right now. So definitely if you guys in the area, check out JJ Plum's Cafe in Fort Pierce, man. You will not regret it. You're hearing it first here from your boy, Mr. Grubb. I'm going to go ahead and finish my food. And I'll get back to you guys in a bit. All right, guys. So I'm going to get ready to head out. Like I said, man, it was amazing. JJ Plum Cafe, shout out to you guys. The food is amazing. Um, I love the environment. I love the feel. I love the vibe. Nothing but positivity inside, man. You guys definitely check them out if you're in the area. You will not regret it. You know, your boy Mr. Grub, don't steal you wrong, man. So shout out to them, you know, uh, for remaining humble, man. Shout out to their customers for remaining loyal. I see why. <laughs> All right. So until next time, you guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. It's your boy. Mr. Grub, I'm out.